Last month I went to California to see my family and old friends and go to Coachella, and I had big ideas about filming things, but mostly I just filmed what I saw outside the train window as I went up to the valley and down to San Diego. This was just me forgetting, not some statement on presence, because I fucking loathe the notion that my ability to have authentic experiences and my desire to take out my phone and photograph or film things are somehow mutually exclusive. Anyway, I am prone to nostalgic what-ifs in general, but especially when I am in California. The sun and the familiarity of things is comforting in a siren song way that always makes me feel like I am long overdue to return forever. I visit people that I love whose lives are growing and changing so quickly, it seems, from my two rare visits. I wonder about what it would be like if I hadn't left the first time or the second. How would our lives, which are now so distinct, have grown up around each other? My older brother just had a baby and I love this little child with my whole heart, and being far away makes the distance burn in a fresh new way. It's an unavoidable fact that I will miss so much of this little girl's life. Of course, I recognize that if I were to run back right now, all I would be doing is creating a new home haunted place, a new place that I'd visit every so often and wonder about how things might have been. I know this. I know that I am happy here and certainly more settled than I have ever been. I know also, of course, that these visits are glimpses only into the best of what I'm missing, because it wouldn't do for anyone to spend my time there on anything else. These trips are flashes of light and presence in relationships that mostly play out in phone calls and texts and Facebook. Still, it feels a little like I'm admitting something that I shouldn't when I say that I think about this often, that it's an insult to my happy life here, a thing I should be apologizing for or hedging in some way. Maybe that's silly. I'm not sure. Mostly, though, I'm grateful for these opportunities to still be present in the lives of all these people that I love so much. As much as I felt like I was drifting and rootless until fairly recently when I decided to stick around somewhere for a while, that's not entirely true, because people offer a kind of rootedness, and I am deeply grateful to the wonderful people that kept me tethered somewhere. People whose very presence is truly a burst of sunshine in human form. Flashes of light that I am always eager to be in the presence of. For now, at least, that's enough.